Before this episode starts, I am very happy to announce that this video is sponsored by Tayrock. If you're interested in buying yourself some clean and unique watches, check the link in the description down below and use code ENGINEER for 20% off. Hardcore Iron Man Limited to PvP Worlds. If you are new here, my name is C Engineer, and if you kill my Hardcore Iron Man, I will personally give you 150 million game. In the last episode, I noticed how PKs were camping every single teleport spot to get that 150 mil. So in today's episode, I'm going to avoid all the PKs by skilling. The goal is 69 fletching, so I can make myself a runite crossbow. And I am here at Zeya, in the Zeya bank, and as you can see, there's maple trees here, so we're gonna try to get 69 fletching by woodcutting maple trees and then fletching them. We start this episode with 53 fletching and 67 woodcutting, and according to my calculations, we have to make around 5,000 maple longbows to get ourselves 69 fletching. Boom, 68 woodcutting! This entire episode will most likely only include skilling, woodcutting, and fletching, maybe crafting as well, so if that's not really your cup of tea, I would advise you guys to like the video and then come back to the next one. Came out of nowhere! Who was that? Change locations to three gnome stronghold, chopping yew trees and oak trees. I got a gnome to attack me so if someone shows up, they have to kill the gnome first. And now that the people who hate skilling and only watches me for peeking and PVMing have left the video, let's start the real content. The goal is still the same, get myself a rune crossbow. Doing woodcutting and fletching would take me at least 10 hours, however getting a rune crossbow from the crazy archaeologist is a chance of 5 in 128. And from now on, no teleports work. Teleblock two episodes in a row, if I continue like this, I'm gonna get killed in January. <gasps> yes, finally. We got it boys. It's over. It's over. The room crossbow grind is finally over. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you skip skilling to continue doing fun content. All we need now is 55 fletching for broad bolts, and good thing we got a lot of logs. So let's fetch for a bit. I'll get back to you when I'm 55 fletching. There we go, 55 fletching, we can now do broad bolts, however we need ourselves 55 slayer as well. That's the task completed, we got a runner as the final drop. Warping vampires, uh, that's the task completed. Let's get, do a run of barrels while we're still here. Always unlucky. The next task is, come on something good, killer watts, okay. But before this task, let's do this medium clue scroll. This clue requires me to get myself to Wizard's Tower, and there's a necklace called Necklace of Passage, which can be made by using a jade, a silver bar, and a necklace mold. And there we go, Necklace of Passage, and by rubbing this one, you're gonna get yourself to the Wizard's Tower. We got the casket, very, 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 woo, two uh, items, a Pandus item, yes. All right, let's go to Killer Watts, and that's task completed. We got that air battle stuff as well, which high alts for, I think it's 9k. 9k, yeah. Let's run into Drainer. Ah, oh, I saw someone in Mystics. Alright, next task. Scorpions. Alright then. Let's play the hide and seek game. Private is on. There we go, Slayer task completed. No one found me in 13 minutes. So we're gonna say PM off and teleport away. And there we go, we finally got our clue scroll. We're gonna hop world so these PKers can't find me. Casket. 
be the one. Nope. <laughs> so I'm getting low on cash. So I'm gonna high out some of the items I've been collecting over the past few weeks. And with the 100k, we're gonna still high out the rest of the steel scimitars and full helms. Meep, meep. The final seal of full helm, we have now acquired 119k. Very nice. Come on, machinima. Good slayer task. Bats. Alright then. These idiot vampires don't even have 15 agility. For some reason, I feel like I'm in a settled video while I'm training here. Woo! That's task completed, and since we're here, we might as well do a barrels round. Currently 101 barrel chests dry. Is this the day? Is this the video? Where I change that thread and get my first barrels piece. I'm seriously depressed doing this. I don't use Chronicle Teleport that much anymore, but I bought myself 41 charges just in case. Woo! Bam, task completed. Let's get out of here. I don't know what I'm hoping for. Dragons, rock slugs, 81 range. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty tired of doing barrels, but this guy. He gave me a bit of motivation to continue. Oh my god, there's someone here in a PvP world. Alright, we're gonna open this chest without finishing the Barrows Brothers, just because I was scared. Bruh. Here we go, dry. That's task completed. Another dry. I love this game. That's task completed. Task completed. Blah, 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 blah. Alright, we got a loop half. We got a hard clue scroll. We're gonna drop the death runes. Take the hard clue scroll. Look if we can do it, we can't do it, so we're gonna drop it. And that's 75 hit wall points, and we got a rune full helm. 20k arc, boom, 69 strength, that's task completed, and that's task completed, let's get out of here. I've decided to upgrade myself to a rune plate body for 84k. If you see this guy in a PvP world, you're going to try to kill him. Bam, task completed, there we go, we got the clue scroll, let's see if we can do it. Another clue, can we do it this one? <gasps> Deep Wilderness, Rogue's Castle, holy fuck. I've thought this through, and I'm going to say bye. Alright, dry chest number 5333. <laughs> Another dry, 107. <gasps> wow, 70 strength, the grind is over. Now we can enter the Warriors Guild. And now guys, I have to show you what, the real reason why I had to be able to get in here. This guy called Lydio sells very very cheap and good food just look at the prices and as you can see this red carpet right here it's a safe zone so if someone tries to kill me it's very easy for me to escape i'm actually on my six hour log so no one actually knows i can enter warrior scout just yet so i have to use my time wisely this is a bot no no way did this dude just gear up for a fight there you go 1020 tokens we're gonna see how many defenders we can get with these hopefully we can get up to rune and there we go we got ourselves the first defender and there we go iron defender Ooh, steel defender in 20 tokens the black defender there is the sneaky sneaky pure who's trying to get me boom 71 strength and 77 combat we just got ourselves mithril defender and all the tokens are basically gone, just 10 left. And that's 310 tokens. I think this should be enough to get ourselves two new defenders. Oh my god. I did not. Ah, good god. I did not expect that. Holy crap. Hello, John. Hello, John. So apparently I was teleported back to Lambridge because my membership has ended. We ended this episode with a Mithril Defender and a total level of 1086 and a combat level of 77. It would have been a great ending by getting the Dragon Defender but we will have to do that in the next episode. But instead I'm going to show you guys a bit of a spoiler to my next video which is coming this weekend. PvP but Hard Iron Core Man. The same combat level. Yep. Pretending to be my hardcore Iron Man in a PvP world this Saturday, 5 p.m. GMT.